Okay, so here's our cube. So, mm -hmm. so um, here, oh, actually, you know, it's funny. I didn't even notice until I saw this. I right? pushed in all the, all the, all the way. All right. <coughs> all right, so hold it up near, near the, uh, maybe go, yeah, hold it up directly above the center of the top of the face of the cube, but maybe go down a little bit closer to the cube. I guess. A little more? <laughs> Two more inches. There you go. So we can really see the difference between the the top and the bottom. So I, my first question to you is, so we have, we see two rings here. This, this one here. 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 That's, that's a square. Mm -hmm. And this one here, that's a square. So can you tell me which of those two squares is the top square of the cube? Um, I think the outer one is the top. Okay, why do you think that? Because um, it would, because it come, well actually by moving the shadow, we, the bottom isn't moving okay. from the projections, and but the top would be more movable for the projections. Why is that? Why do you think that's true? Well, because, like, if you tilt it, the light to a different angle, and the you would show the top from a different side, uh -huh. but then the bot you could still see the bottom. Okay, and what do you think? What which one do you think is the top? This this one here. Sorry, which one do you think the top or the bottom is this outside shadow? Um, I think it's the. Hmm, I think it's the top. Okay. Why? Because when I pull the light back, uh -huh. this bottom one doesn't move. Okay. But since I'm getting closer to the top one, the bottom doesn't move as much, but since I'm getting closer to the top, it seems to move more. Okay, so you think it, 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 it somehow, how close the light is actually to the shape. Yeah, because like, creates different if shadows. you go here. What would the shadow look like if you were infinitely far away? It would look like, I think it would just look like a square. It would just look like a square. What do you think it would look like if you were infinitely far away? If you had a really strong light, it would look like a square. Yeah. Make right. it quite and you had good. an infinite amount of time. Yep. Okay. No, that's fine. That's good. Um, so why don't we make some other shadows with the cube here? All right. So you can sort of pull it down. It's not really on camera. Well, that's all right. Move it over it, this way. Get right. some of the idea a little bit. So go like this. This kind of. And sort of pull it. All right. So if you saw some of these shadows, do you think you could tell that this was a cube making this shadow? Um, not really. This, I mean, like, this doesn't look much like a cube. Okay. But if I shined it, this wouldn't really show up, but I've seen this trick. You can shine it so that this vertice and this vertice line up. Oh, yeah? And it looks like a hexagon. How do you mm -hmm. think we could do that? I mean, I can sort of rotate the cube and bring it farther away. Here, I'll, I'll put, I'll, I'll rotate the cube like that. There we are. So now it looks like a hexagon with lines coming to the middle. Now it looks like a hexagon with lines coming to the middle. Is that obviously a shadow of a cube? No, not obviously at all. Not obviously at all. Okay, so why don't you give your brother the, the light. Um, so what are some other things you think would be interesting to talk about with these shadows? Well, because, well, like in the fourth dimension when you have a hypercube, it creates a three-dimensional shadow. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe identifying a hypercube from its three-dimensional shadows. Yeah, that would be fun. Unfortunately, we would need a four-dimensional iPhone that had a three-dimensional uh, light. Hmm. Or, hmm. I don't know how many dimensions the light would need. I guess it would just be the same thing. It would be a point source light, so it, um, and it would be shooting out rays. But then we would need to figure out how to make a three-dimensional shadow. Well, but what are some things we can talk about with this cube? Well, I've actually got another one where it's not obviously a cube. Okay. So it looks like two squares. Yeah, if you have, as, so if I project it right, now you have looks what looks like two squares that are on top of each other. So, oh, it, it's kind of like you have the inner square, and then there's some one small protrusion 
and then there's the outer square corner. Okay. And they so connect, so it's not obviously a cube. Cool. Get it back in the middle again here. Um, so we have that outer and inner square. <clears throat> Do you think there's a shape where that would not be a cube that would have this same shadow except the top square would be this one in the middle and the bottom square would be the outside one? Well, I think kind of a tr the truncated pyramid Okay. Would so if you had a pyramid with the top chopped off, but the, so it would be a square and then trapezoid sides. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Don't and then a square. It. All right. Cool. Yeah. So we could even we could even make the same a similar looking shadow anyway with something that's not cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. One last one. <clears throat> 